Welcome to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and today I'd like to tell you about a 10-acre property I've got in Elko County, Nevada. And so this one, it's uh, it's on the other side of the mountains from the valley where most of the properties got in that area are. Um, $13 a year taxes, no closing fees. I mean, I'll pay everything to get it recorded into your name. Um, water, I'm talking about water catchment. I think you could do rainwater catchment. You could drill a well or you could get water delivery. Power, I think probably just building the solar system or running generators until you build a solar system someday um i'll uh, i'll pay all the fees it's saying and i'll transfer this thing a grant bargain and sale deed that's the regular deed you use in nevada and uh, elko county nevada legal description apn you know all the numbers and details are in here about it if you want to go for it just click buy now and and go for it so let's open up the gps cord and see where this thing's at Kids are playing in the background, if you can hear that. Um, but, uh, so pulling this up, and, no, oh, I miss I misstepped when I said it was in the valley next to where they usually are. This is in Montello Valley, and the Route 80 is here to the south. Route 80 goes from, like, um, Elko, and, uh, let's zoom out some more, I'll show you where we're at. Kids are having a lot of fun. Summer break. Um, so we got Reno over here, and we got uh, Elko over here, you know, Winnemucca, this is Route 80, runs through northern Nevada, and then west, or west Wendover, Wendover, and then Salt Lake City. So this is a little road that kind of comes up. Um, there's a road that comes up through the valley, and then there's a bigger road that comes up, the 233 through Montello. Montello is the local town, there's a little... Uh, school there with a half dozen kids or so, but you know public school. It's got uh, pretty good ratings really um, Post office uh, gas station grocery store, you know, just the basics. It's all you really need to get started uh, For lumber what West Wendover has a lumber shop um, Elko has a uh, Home Depot you can get those kinds of supplies there and uh, but this is this is the day of the internet You know just get some satellite internet order everything online get it delivered um, you have to worry about a lot of that stuff. So let's zoom in here. Let's turn on the satellite images. You got this massive mountain range over here. We got Pilot Peak down here. Well, here's Pilot Peak. And so looking south, you're going to see this Pilot Peak, and you're going to see these mountains all off to the east that often have snow. You know, especially down here, snow-capped mountains. And then off to the west, you're going to see that this is Murdoch Mountain. I always call it, thought these were Tonon Mountains. Maybe these are the Tonon Mountains. Or this whole range is probably Tonon Mountains. Whatever they're called, you get to look at them. There's some nice nice mountain peaks over here as well. This one isn't as high as this one. And you're in the valley, so you're not worried about driving those hills or climbing those hills and things. You get to look up at them, though, and they probably slow a lot of the winds down. This valley is old cattle ranching land. So cattle run through this area. People that tour properties in this area are always impressed at the, uh, the antelope that are running through the area. You know, you see their white butts taken off as you spook them out of the the grasses and brush of the area when you're going to look at your property. So these areas have uh, usually um, section line kinds of roads, sections mile by mile, and uh, so people drive a lot of these section lines. You see squares all over the area, and those sections are cut up into multiple properties. Um, 640 acres, so probably 64 10 acre properties is what they're usually cut into, and this is one of those 10 acre properties. And so you've got two tracks running along the um, eastern border of the property and maybe even some on the southern border of the property as well. So I believe you can drive, you can follow those two tracks up to it by using the GPS coordinates on my website. Put the, you know, click on that in your phone or pull it up in the mapping software of your choice to get there. Um, let's look at some lot lines. I pulled this up in Agent Pro and it's got that same line on the eastern border of the property. And um, this line down here might be might be the southern border of the property. The map might be off a little bit, or might this road might be off. You zoom out. You can take these up to some bigger roads and out to town. So I pulled it up in um, 
thought I had it pulled up in this other software. It's still spinning its wheels. Let's skip that one. Um, I got it pulled up in uh, Landwatch. Landwatch is market, and you see what other people are trading these properties for. So if we do, uh, I've got Elko County in here. That's the whole county, nine acres and up. I capped it at $3,500, so there weren't so many properties. I'm, you know, looking at cheaper. This one, I'm asking 1999 so below that. Price low to high. If we do this, um, we sort this. We get a bunch of people that just stick crazy stuff in there to make sure that they end up at the top of the pile. You know, it's like 640 acres for $3,000 or whatever. Yeah, right. Um, 15 acres. You know, it's just down payment deals. And then uh, Josh Brooks, he always has the best deals. I mean, if you're going to do payments, skip these other guys. Just go to Josh Brooks. His payment deals are always the best. It can't compete with that guy. Um, and then uh, here's some other payment deals by Eric Coe. And, you know, different payment deals. And then the first one that's got an actual price like a price, not a payment plan, but if, if this were sorted right, this thing would probably be at the top of the pile. There's, there's, there's my face on uh, 10 acres for $19.99 that's sold. This is what I'm asking for this property is $19.999. You know, $1 um, that should make it the cheapest 10 acres in the lineup. There's $2,199. That's one of mine. Just more $2,199. But uh, this this 1999 should make it the cheapest one. The next more expensive ones are all my properties anyway. Let's see if we go to the next page, see what we get. Um, yeah, it's just the price goes up a little bit. Get different ones to choose from. 23, 23, 23. A couple different people to choose from. Most of them are mine, but there's a couple other people in there that have some that are that cheap. And um, they skip up from there, right? So... I mean, most most of mine are sold. I should probably clean out the lineup so they don't clutter up the mess. So if you're interested in this one, go back to my website, ruralvacantland.com, and uh, there should be a link in the uh, the description below to get to this listing and um, buy the property. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Luke Smith, ruralvacantland.com.